This is Year 13 AS1 Physics 1 and this is um, a series of podcasts on projectiles and there are questions here from 2001 to 2009. So the first question is um, from January 2001 and it's from AS1 um, and it's a question two. An athlete in a javelin event runs along a horizontal track and launches a javelin at an angle of 40 degrees to the horizontal. The javelin rises to a maximum height and then falls to ground level. It hits the ground four seconds after launching at a point a horizontal distance of 75.2 metres. So it says show that the horizontal component of the launch velocity is 18.8 metres per second. Um, And so if I just draw here at the side just to see what you're actually looking for. You know that it's launched at an angle of 40 degrees and you have got um, a horizontal velocity and that's your horizontal component. And your horizontal component, if this is launched at a speed of V, then it's V cos theta. Okay, now we don't have enough information um, to use V here, we don't actually have that value. So we're, what we're going to do here is just use speed equals distance over time. So horizontally, there are only three things we ever can know or need to know. You need to know the horizontal component, which we're looking for, or its velocity. The distance or range that it moves, and you are told this, is 75.2 metres. So we're looking for that. We know that the distance it moves is 75.2 metres. And then the time it takes, and the time it takes, you're told, is four seconds. So it's very helpful if you've got lots of information in this question um, and you're wondering how are you going to find this out, um, write down the things that you do know. So horizontally, velocity, the only equation you use horizontally in projectiles is velocity is displacement or distance over time. And the displacement is 75.2 metres. And the time is four seconds. And that gives you an answer then of 18.8 meter seconds to the minus one. Calculate the magnitude of the launch velocity. Well, I drew up here the um, the little diagram. This is the launch velocity here, V, and that's what we need to find out now. Now, we already know what this is equal to. This is equal to 18.8. And we also know that if we were going to resolve our V here, it would be equal to V cos theta. Um, So we can say that V cos theta is equal to 18.8. And we know that theta is 40 degrees, so V is equal to 18.8 divided by the cos of 40 degrees, you're told in this question. And that gives you an answer of 24.5 metres per second. Um, The next question is about an athlete and the length of the track from the start of the athlete's run to the launch point is 33.5 metres. For this run, the athlete starts from rest, so you know that u is equal to naught, accelerates uniformly at 1.5 metres per second squared. Um, You know the length is 33.5 metres and you're asked for V. So you can see there, U, A, S, and we need V, so we're going to use V squared equals U squared plus 2, A, S. So the key to what you use there, this is obviously not a projectile question, but it says accelerates uniformly, and that means you're using your equations of motion. Um, So that's equal to 0 squared plus 2 by 1.5 by 33.5 metres. And that gives you an answer then. V squared is 100, so V is equal to 10. <coughs> Comment on any difference between your answer to B part 1 and the value quoted in A part 1. So B part 1 is 10, and the value quoted in A part 1, i.e. the javelin, um, is actually 18.8. So when the athlete has stopped running, she's running at a speed of 10. Um, and or he should I say um, and the 
but she, she or he launches a javelin at 18.8. So what is the difference? Well, of course, the difference is that the athlete then exerts a force. on the javelin and therefore it was already travelling at 10 metres per second because it was in the, in the athlete's hand um, and then extra force gives it initial speed Of 18.8. .8. Now you probably wouldn't need just just as much information as that. It's hard to know. We've no mark scheme for this question.